We all have A before I die. I want to list IE the bucket list. In general, the bucket list would contain the following items. Swim in the world's largest swimming pool. Do skydiving. Master one programming language. Visit Paris. And the list goes on. If you want to replicate this list in programming, you'll go ahead and create multiple variables and store each element from the list. What if I tell you there's a way to perform the same thing but without having to write so much? Yes you guessed it right, arrays to the rescue. Array is a special variable which lets us store multiple values in a single variable. Isn't that cool? D. It eases our work to another level, D. Now, let's see how to create one. Arrays are written just like variables, evar keyword followed by the array name. Once, we've the array's name, we add values to it. Values are written in between square brackets. The values are separated by commas. But the catch here is, we can only store a collection of variables of the same type. This is an invalid array since it has a combination of strings and numbers. Crux, an array can only hold variables of the same type. Now that we know how to create arrays, let's go ahead and learn how to access each items of the array and print them. Arrays are like attendance sheets. Attendance sheets consist of two main things, first role number followed by name of the person who is associated with a particular role number. The teacher calls out the role number of a student and hence the student acknowledges the teacher. Similarly in arrays, don't you think there should be a way to access the items? Yes, in fact there is a way to do so. Like the role numbers, the items in the arrays are assigned a particular number depending on the order of the item they've been added. The items are assigned a number starting from zero. The first item is assigned zero followed by the next one and so on. Luckily, computers don't give proxy like we do for our friend smile. Hence when a particular number is called, the item associated with it always responses. Let's create an array with names of students from a class. Write the name of the array followed by opening a square bracket and writing the item number and closing it. Students 0 would give me access to Ashley. Similarly, can you guess how to access the rest of the items? Great! You seem to have mastered arrays. Before moving forward, let's solve one more problem.
great. Similarly, we can print all the other items by writing their order numbers within the square brackets. In this topic we've learned What is an array? Array is a special variable which lets us store multiple values in a single variable. How to create an array? Bar array equals, this, is, how, you, do, it. How to access an item in an array? Array 3, will print you. Do remember the first element in array can be accessed by array 0, and not array 1. The numbering in an array always starts from 0. Alright, let's move on to the next topic.